So just briefly, uh, what I've done here is I've created a sort of an abstract jellyfish made out of upcycled plastic bottles from the community. And it's about nine meters above the floor and with a five meter drop, it's got about 5,000 bottles that are in it. So it's lit up. We're pretty proud of it. It came about like a lot of my other projects. It came about through conversation. And um, so I guess now almost maybe seven or eight months ago, really, I started a conversation with the PR agency that manages some of the PR for this property. And one thing led to another. And I, I proposed that you know, it would be really great to do a plastic pollution awareness sculpture project that could you know sort of integrate with a corporate social responsibility initiative or something like that and then I say probably around by February or March we had really said okay the Conrad's going to be the one because the Maldives makes sense it's an environmental hot spot it's a climate change hot spot there's also a plastic pollution hot spot because of the Indian Ocean so it just made sense and then from there we just went and got started coordinating with the local islands local community um, the staff really did 90% of that legwork in terms of reaching out to the local community and doing all those things. And then I showed up about May. What I think has already started uh, is the beginnings of conversations with the guests and the team members here at the Conrad. Um, and that's already what I've seen already starting to happen with everywhere from social media, online, to interpersonal conversations that I've been having with lots of different people. And so the you know, the, well, this plastic pollution thing is really a human behavior thing. It's not an aesthetic issue. It's, we, we have to kind of curb our own behavior and stop throwing things away that we don't use. Um, or and stop using things that need to be thrown away, you know? Um, and so I think I see that conversation already happening. So I think that in time, you know, as the longer this project's exhibited here on the property, the more positive feedback we're going to get. The name of the artwork is Evo Gyra, which is an amalgam of two words, evolution and gyra. And so evolution, obviously. And then gyra, there's five ocean gyras, um, two in the Pacific, north and south, two in the Atlantic, north and south, and then one right here in the Indian Ocean. And they're normal. They, they're confluence of currents and then the oceans and things like that. But now, because of anthropogenic behavior, human behavior, um, plastic trash is, is sort of concentrating in these gyres. And so the Indian Ocean, because it affects so many different countries in such a very small area, um, I think it's kind of uniquely positioned to, to raise awareness to this issue because it's a little bit more in the backyard, you know? And so, so Evo Gyra, that, that amalgam is basically my, my tongue-in-cheek reference that we need to evolve our own behavior to stop throwing things down the toilet, kind of, if you will, you know?